on Argon today, which is a day trip from Dakar. I'll tell you a bit more about it later on in the video. I'm just gonna hop into an Uber at the moment and get to the bus station. And I'm with um, a couple and a friend that I'm staying with on couch surfing. Uh, not the same family I've been staying with before. So we're now in Gulistan. Look at the atmosphere, it's amazing. <laughs> Trying to find the right bus to take us into Sonargan, Pan Am City. It's just mental here, look at this. station in Dakar make sure you find the right one and then it's just one bus and it's quite comfortable as you saw I managed to get a seat at the end of it quite easy not too not too hard really and quite comfortable okay one more thing we do need to take a CNG to get there so hopping in now <laughs> Coming to have some of this food. <laughs> Potato and vegetables. <laughs> okay, so now inside uh, Pan Am City, which is in Shonargon. Hey. <laughs> I hope I pronounced uh, Shonogaon correctly. Um, hi. hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> As you can see, uh, there's plenty of people here because it's a Friday and it's kind of like a holiday in Dakar or in Bangladesh in general, I'm not too sure, but there's a lot of people visiting today. Uh, so it's quite, it's quite busy, uh, a lot of people off work. Um, so this used to be the capital until the 17th century uh, when the Mughals were here and then Dakar eventually became the capital. And now what's left are these old scatterings of buildings and ruins. I think it's a good day trip from Dakar mainly because of the journey to get here is quite fun and interesting. And obviously when you get here you can take a look and things like that. But you'll have a lot of uh, fun just, just trying to get here. <laughs> Looks kind of like a movie set with this long uh, western cowboy style street.
everyone say hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you from Dhaka? You from Dhaka? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Cool. I'm from Dhaka. Dhaka. Nice. You'll go to school in Dhaka. Yes. 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 Students. Cool. Students. Nice. You from? Cool. I'm from England. England. Oh, yes. England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name? Jason. Jason. <laughs> We're in the Bangladesh Folk Art and Crafts Museum. What's his name? The father of the nation. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. So I've been told these paintings are typical of Bangladeshi culture. Very colourful, as you can see. Do you like it? Yeah, can you play? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're now heading on to the Arts and Crafts Fair. As you can see, pretty cool setting. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good, thanks. Brave schoolgirls. <laughs> Tigers, they're looking uh, in the uh, island. The Bengal Tiger, right? Bengal Tigers. The Bangladesh cricket team named Bengal Tigers. Lots of things going on, clothes on sale, food. So this obviously becomes this. And uh, you've just bought some, haven't you? Here we go. Should we try some? It's quite warm, huh? Mm. Oh, okay. This is not made by sugar. It's jilapi and it's really hot and sweet. It's the best way I can describe it. Um, if you see this around on the streets, make sure you get some. Amazing, look at all these things on sale. Handmade arts and crafts. This water pump is more than a thousand feet deep and it's really pure water. Tickets to get back on the bus again. There's so much going on in this area. Some street food. Hello. <laughs> Now back in Dakar, Gulistan. Some markets here. You know when you're back in Dakar because people are everywhere. So I just come to a restaurant for some lunch and a mix of things here. Plain rice, some dal here. This uh, falafel looking <laughs> ball and these vegetables here. 
really salty fried taste on these. I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I've got lots more coming from Dakar, so stay tuned. Peace.